right, let's understand what happens when we combine multiple speakers together. Speakers are rated in ohms, but it's an impedance ohm. This is an impedance meter that sends a signal through it, uh, whereas resistance, which is in ohms, is just sending a voltage through it and looking for a voltage drop. So this handy little reference, Ugly's electrical reference. Uh, so uh, we can be in series when you have more than one thing, where you've got a resistor, resistor, resistor. And when you are like that, you just add them up. So what does that look like? So we're going to measure there. We have a resistor and then another resistor. Okay, let's say this is 6 ohm and 6. Resistance is 6, resistance is 6. So the output or the measurement, the total resistance will be 6 plus 6 equals 12. Okay, the other way we can have a circuit is in parallel where they each feed off the same. So in this case, you would see a third would go through each, but it gets more complicated if the resistance is different in each resistor. So the formula we use there <clears throat> is one over the first resistance plus one over the second resistance and so forth. So let's see what that would look like. So we have a source point coming in. There's a resistor there, a resistor here, okay, so that would be 6, and that would be 6, and if they're the same, uh, we basically cut it in half, okay, so 6 to 6, the, uh, it'll be 6 divided by 2, which will equal 3. That's an easy shortcut if they're the same. Now what happens when we have a speaker and another speaker? Okay, and we do that. Okay, let's say this is a 4 ohm speaker and this is an 8 ohm speaker. What would be that output? And then let's say you do a bunch together. So in this case, I got a speaker that's 6.9 ohms, and then one that's 6.2 ohms, because I've already measured that. So in series, we should get, that's 12, 13.1. Ohms in series, and then we should get around three plus something for <clears throat> the other. So here's one speaker, turn it on, hit test. Now I'm getting seven, so let's stop the test and we're going to connect these together, do test. Okay, I'm reading 1 ohm. I must have bumped my little dial. So we want to set that to zero. And now we can hook these back up. That beep is the uh, signal that you see going through. Okay, so 6.8. And then we're going to put these in parallel. So we've got our feed. So each speaker is going to go to one clip and each speaker is going to go to the other clip. So this should be our lower number. And you don't want to test speakers when there's a signal going through them. Don't want to test most things when there's a signal going through them. All right, so we test it and we got a 3.2. So 
So that was a two. So if I had a system that needed four ohms uh, into it, then this might not be a good uh, layout for these speakers because uh, they the ohm is a little lower than eight. So let's do these speakers. Let's replace the resistors with the speakers. So we're going to have a lead come in and then we're going to connect one of the leads to another speaker. And then we connect a lead to the end. So we're going into the speaker, out of the speaker, into the speaker, and then out to the lead. So we should get our 13 something. So if you had a 16 ohm uh, amplifier, then this would be okay. <clears throat> uh, we don't want to go too far out of place. Good amplifiers will take anything from 4 ohm to 16 ohm. Others are more specific. So the formulas you use for resistors to find out what your ohm is, is the same for uh, the speaker impedance. Uh, sometimes, and this is just a fluke, you can put a regular multimeter on a speaker and it'll give you ohms resistance that looks like it would be the impedance ohm. But that's just a fluke of, of that particular speaker. So you have to use one of these to test the speaker. <clears throat>